Oh, I actually want to start this video by apologizing. So for years, everybody I've ever talked to has called the uh, chef that on the transmission that the sprocket lives on. Everybody's called that the counter shaft. Hell, uh, a counter shaft. Hell, I've even called it the counter shaft on the seal replacement video for it. The thing is that that is actually incorrect, and this is called the drive shaft. The counter shaft is the one in the middle, the one that gets rotated by the clutch, and that one is called the counter shaft because it's rotating counter to what the drive shaft and the crankshaft are rotating so sorry for that error in nomenclature that's uh kind of an interesting thing i learned today speaking of transmissions here's somebody who knows nothing about them hi tyler hello how are we so to me transmissions are kind of the dark art of motorcycles because there's so much going on but let's try to muddle our way through it together. I uh, will try to explain this the, as best I can using uh, a bunch of rusty transmission parts, of which I have plenty. So let's take a look at it from the bike perspective. There is one output from the transmission. That is the rear, the front sprocket, which lives on the drive shaft. There is one input to the transmission, and that is the counter shaft, which lives behind the clutch. So motor turns, you know, combustion, ha combustion happens, uh, crank turns, turns the outside basket, turns the inside basket, which turns the counter shaft. So as far as control, we have one control for that. And that is the shifter, shift linkage, etc. Now this rod here, this rod that it's connected to, goes all the way through the other side because everything on these transmissions is, you know, backwards. And when you shift, it turns this plate, behind which is the shift star, which, um, when it interacts with the plate, turns the gear behind it, and uh, changes gears. So let's look at it more from the inside, because there's not that much we can see from the outside. So here's what it looks like from the inside. You've got the shifter rod. Shift linkage would go on here. This is the outside already. You have the output shaft, drive shaft uh, for the sprocket. You have the intermediate shaft. And here is the shifter barrel uh, cam, well, shifting cam or gear selector cam or whatever. Anyway, shifting barrel is a perfectly fine way to describe it, which moves the shift forks these guys and there's three of them two on the drive shaft one on the counter shaft and then of course you have gears 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 and they're in kind of a weird order that's dictated mostly by space because you can't have two big gears right next to each other because they'll just be in each other's way and probably dictated by uh, how the shift forks need to move. So let's look at that on the table. So this is the transmission laid out front to back. On the back, on the counter shaft, you have the drive gears. And on the drive shaft, you have the driven gears. So this would be first, fifth, three, four, six and then two obviously the gearing is laid out a little uh a little weird just to make sure that everything fits so that the cases aren't huge and also so that uh similar size gears can uh, mesh together so if you look uh an easy way to tell what gear is what 
is the size of the driven shaft versus the uh, driven gear versus the size of the drive gear. So first is driving is a small gear driving a really big gear. So the engine has to turn a lot to turn the wheel a little bit. Second, slightly bigger. So slightly bigger drive, uh, drive gear, slight, uh, slightly bigger drive gear, slightly smaller driven gear, and so on through six. Now sixth is actually a overdrive gear on these bikes. And all that means is that the drive gear is actually bigger than the driven gear, which means the output shaft, the drive shaft, is spinning faster than the input shaft. So if the if this is spinning at, I don't know, let's just guess 5,000 RPMs, this might actually be spinning at like 55 or maybe even uh, maybe even more. I don't know the ratios off the top of my head, unfortunately. Now, breaking this down further, if you look at, let's pull a gear apart. If you look at what happens when the fork slides these guys around, what happens is it engages one gear or another. And in this case, uh, the dogs here, this is what they mean when these call uh, sequential transmissions dog boxes, the dogs go into the slots. And when uh, race transmissions are undercut, what they're actually doing is they're taking this flat dog and cutting it and taking the groove and cutting it so that they engage even tighter. On the shift cam and shift forks side. So when somebody says your shift forks are bent, what that what they usually mean is that the, these guys get worn or jammed or something and are actually not able to move the gear around. This, by the way, is all that the shift fork is responsible for. It glides along and when it's uh, pushing one direction or the other, it engages the, it engages the dogs against the appropriate gear. Um, what, how this contraption works, and I'm not sure what channels are for what, but how this contraption works is you have a pin on the shift fork that rides along a channel. And when you're shifting, the cam turns, and then at some point it forces the fork to move down and then up for other ones. So all that's happening as you're going first, neutral, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, whatever. I don't actually know how the channels are aligned here. The other fun thing about this is the shift star, which sits on the end of the cam. Let's get this aligned somehow. Okay. Anyway, it sits on the end of the cam. There we go. And as the shifter turns it, the detent holds it in place. And let's, uh, let's the shifter rotate the cam. Fun thing about shift stars, by the way, before 05, they were kind of shallow. You can see there's some metal between the ring, uh, between this part of the ring and the teeth. And um, there was a Factory Pro shift, shift star kit and detent kit, which uh, replaced them with a much more aggressive one. Well, you can, you can actually kind of tell side to side how much deeper the teeth are uh, and used a much st stronger spring. In 05, Suzuki actually changed what the shift star was and made a much more aggressive one, making the factory pro kit kind of irrelevant. Another interesting part here is these little pins with springs behind them. They're what drives your gear position sensor. Based on which contact this pin uh, contacts, 
Wow, tautology. Based on which contact this pin con uh, touches, the bike knows what gear it's in. So, first, neutral, second, blah, 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 blah. I don't actually know which way it goes on the sensor, but um, that's how that works. So now let's try to put it all together. This is gonna not work great because unfortunately I'm missing some parts here, like the star's not on the, the barrel, and all these things are meant to be held in place and not rocking against each other, as well as all these things are meant to be spinning rather rapidly, so some of these gears free float as uh, as we're doing stuff so um, shifting may be a little bit hard but as the shifter turns it causes the cam to move and as the counter shaft is rotating it lets the dog slip into place so we'll keep going and keep turning the counter shaft and try to shift yet again. Oh, I'm actually at the end. All right, so as the shift happens, the counter shaft is rotating. Uh, it lets the fork move the dog into place. As another shift happens, you just saw one fork got out of the way, another one uh, moved up, one moved up, one moved down, and so on. Ow! Yeah. Also, fingers risk. <laughs> Not for PP, hurt PP. So, as we keep rotating, the uh, forks glide along the channels in the cam and let each gear slide into or out of place. Let the dog slip, uh, me mesh up in the, in the hole. So, hopefully, and yeah, I realize this is clear as mud and black magic, but hopefully that helps somebody understand how an SV transmission works.